right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all are doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting the good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path. You help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciate it. Take it one day at a time. Most definitely, y'all. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes in our back, and a roof over our head. And let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out, guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son died for our sins. There's so much things throughout our lifetime the Lord has done for us and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy endures forever. Amen. So always thank him, praise him, keep him first, always, people. Most definitely welcome everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all, praying for you all. Let us always lift up each other in Christ. Let us always encourage each other in the Lord. Let's always pray for each other, support one another, intercede for each other. All those things, people. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let us always be together on one accord for the Most High. Amen. Much love to all of you out there. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and ministries out there with the sound doctrine, the love, the peace, the harmony, the gatherings and the fellowships. Much love to the previous martyrs, current martyrs and future martyrs, the brave, isolated, bold, courageous believers out there who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for the faith, who are going through it for his namesake. Amen. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted in Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the brand new converts out there. Anyone who just gave a life to Christ, anyone who just got baptized, anyone who just became a believer, God bless all of you. Love you all. Most definitely welcome everyone, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord, all the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High. Sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise him. Rejoice, always rejoice. Make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound, play an instrument, dance, express yourself to the Most High, cry out to him. Do what you got to do. He is always watching us, so always serving with gladness and joy, and always worship the spirit and truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until his son comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night and a twinkling of an eye. He has come back with them angels. He's come back with a shout. He has come back at an hour. Nobody knows but the Father. Amen. So let's be watchful. Stay prayed up. Let's be ready for his return. Let us keep our lamps and our oils. Let's be washed by the water, by the word, the washing of the water through the word. Let us keep the word of God. Keep the commandments. Keep doing the gospel. Keep the testimony of Jesus. Constantly stay in your purpose and your calling. Always keep, you know, just doing what the Father calls you to do. Amen. Always be on point with it, people, and take it one day at a time. All right. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God. He'll draw near to you. Let's obey the gospel, the laws, the commandments, all of God's word. Anything the most has told you personally, according to your life, your calling, your purpose, your situation, handle that, people. Amen. The Lord got to keep revealing himself to us more often. These times that run because so much going on. So we got to really always be watchful, listening, and obedient people. Amen. So stay strong out there, okay, people? Now, today's message, what I love to do is just go through today's Bible reading, go through recommended reading scriptures, and then just go through this commentary. And then from there, we will close out with a prayer. We will close out with a priestly blessing. We will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten Son, die for our sins. Amen. So this commentary is based around the, the the awe and amazingness of God, how awesome he really is and the way he created everything and how much of a wonder and mysterious it is, amen. So it's very evident what God has done for this whole world and for all of us in our personal lives, amen. So this is what the commentary is based on, okay? Today's Bible reading is the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verses 12 through 28. 
recommended reading is the book of Genesis chapter 1 in its whole entirety, Psalm 139 verses 11 through 16. The title of this commentary is The Existence of God. Now, as we enter the post-secular age, perhaps we'll be able to see that as wonderful as our scientific education has been, it's time to drop its rigid dogmatism and open our eyes again to see the parts of life that can't be fully explained by cause and effect, though they certainly can be partially so explained, then the wonder will begin to return as we recognize that purpose, design, meaning, and pattern have a place after all. This new vision is the finding of faith. Obviously, as a child, I had no language to articulate this kind of discomfort with the predominant worldview I was being educated in. But I do remember a kind of enlightening moment that came during my college years, almost silly in its simplicity, but perhaps you will be able to relate because you've probably had similar experiences. I remember doing homework at a picnic table when a tiny bug landed on my shirt sleeve. It walked this way, then that. It reached up its front legs and took hold of its antenna, bent it down, and washed in, washing its mouth parts. Then it walked around a bit more, then repeated the washing procedure with the right antenna, and then flew away. An inconsequential event. But I remember thinking, that tiny bug, why did it decide to land here, walk there, and wash its antenna now, not later? It's not enough to tell me about its evolutionary development or its biological drives for food, comfort, and reproduction. No, this little creature really is alive. It really makes choices. It's not just a mathematical equation, a totally determined organism and environment. It really is alive and lives with its own purposes. And the train of thought continued. If alive and purposeful, then there is something in the universe called life and purpose. And if life and purpose, then there must be a source of life and purpose. Equanus and Anselm, great theologians who positioned who poisted powerful intellectual arguments for the existence of God must make room for this newest proof that argument for the existence of God. If there are living purposeful bugs, there must be a God. The wonder returns quote Brian McLaurin things to take away from the commentary. How have you personally come to know and experience that there is a God and what ways do you marvel at who God is and what he has created? What steps can you take to increase your sense of awe for God? Amen. It's always amazing to look at animals and nature and just think how the Father made all of this in six days rest on the seventh day. Amen. So we serve an amazing, awesome God, but we are more observant and watchful of everything he made. Amen. So that is the commentary, all right? What I'd love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So here we go. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem. He is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. Praise him. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Praise the Lord, y'all. His only begotten son died for our sins, rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, most definitely. His blood was shed for all of us, y'all. Most definitely. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord. The advocate. Hallelujah. The almighty, true, living God. Praise the Lord. The Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God. Emmanuel, God is with us. Eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the hair of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am, that I am, the I am, who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of 
David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader, commander, the life, the life of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone. The Lord is holiness. The Lord is my banner. The Lord is my portion. The Lord, our righteousness. He is my shield, my buckler, my refuge, my good fortress, my high tower. Praise him, our provider, our redeemer, our salvation, our healer, our song, our strength, our everything, our provider. Praise him. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Ahai, Yeshai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakafah, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai, Yeshaya, Adonai, Abba. He is a consuming fire. He is the father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician, can heal all things. He's the carpenter, can fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days. The rest of the seventh day, he can fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus, y'all. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him and he'll show you great mighty things. Search and seek him with all your heart and you will find him. He is a reward to those who seek him diligently. Gotta know he exists. Believe in him. Trust in him. Know he could do for you. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracle signs, wonders. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. God is one. We know that forever. The outstretched armor of God be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God be in our lives forever. The finger of God be in our lives forever, y'all. Praise him. Your faith has made you well. Your faith has saved you. The just shall live by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight, people. With God, all things are possible. The most high God is in his time and due time and perfect time. And be still and know who he is, y'all. He got us. Be patient and strong, people. Praise the Lord. Keep pushing forward. He loves you. He cares for you. He got you. Amen. We touch and agree. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the message of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and Savior, our holiness. Our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the resurrection, the resurrected the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh. The son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, the life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word made flesh, the living word. Most definitely, we touch and agree, y'all. The Messiah is the great shepherd. He takes care of all his sheep. He attends to all his sheep, amen. The Most High loves us, y'all. So y'all love him back and reciprocate. Keep the commandments. The Messiah said, if you love me, keep my commandments, amen. So let's keep the commandments, people, always, forever. And let's always have prayers and thoughts towards the poor, the widows, the orphans out there, everybody. Prayers for all social classes. Prayers for all people out there, amen. We are strong together, so let's be hold up each other, pray for each other in these times that run, okay? So that is the message for today, all right? What I love to do as I close out is give y'all the prayer and a pretty blessing on the way out, okay? So here we go. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel and I will bless them. Shalom. Amen. Selah. Barakatha. I'm Jairus Kingston. I love you all. Prayer for you all. Peace.